What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video from the Scalar Learning Channel. And today we have news. Guess what? In the August 23rd administration of the digital SAT, I took it. And we're going to talk about the entire story of what went down the day that I took it. I haven't told anybody anything yet. I want to get the score back. But we are on the heels of a big announcement, a big occasion because da -da 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 -da, drum roll. I had to cancel and then re-register. It's a long story, but just so you can see, boom, there we are. Huzefa, this is mine. And da -da -da. check it out. We got the 800 people. So we got the perfect math score. 750 reading and writing. It's not bad, actually. I got a 720 last time. But this is a very important day because this is, this is an important number in terms of my test taking history. Now I want you guys to count with me. This is 1-800. This is 2-800. That's what I got back in June. This is a 790, but we still got two 800s. Three 800s, that's in November. Four 800s, that's in October. Five 800s, that's back in September. Six 800s, this is the old version, but still. It's still an 800. Six 800s. Seven 800s, back in October uh, 1st, 2021. Eight 800s, this is October 4th, 2019. Nine 800s, May 3rd, 2019. The dreaded 790. But there we go, lucky number 10, all the way back to May 6, 2016. So, if we look at all my officials, dating back to 2016, nearly nine years ago, all the way up to this most recent one, that is 10, count them, 10 perfect math scores on the SAT. Let's go, this is the day I've been waiting for. I thought that'd be like a cool thing to call out, so there we have it. Now, let's talk about some of the particulars from this August administration day. Now, of course, I'm not gonna talk about any of the content or the questions they're in, but I do wanna talk about some of the shenanigans because there there, what, there were some crazy things that went down for the August SAT. Now, I took this in California about 45 minutes or whatever from where I live in, no, sorry, it was like an hour and a half. It was like 50 miles, but you know, driving in California is crazy. Anyways, so, I took it there, and I don't know if this happened, but I did hear that it happened to some other test sites, uh, specifically, I believe, in California, but it was crazy because we I got there, it was in a hotel, I actually stayed the night in the hotel the night before, got up, and oh, we also had a fire alarm go off at four in the morning, that's another story, but that, you know, to College Board has nothing to do with that. Fire alarm went off, went back to bed, got up at like 7.15, went down, got in the room by eight, everything was good to go, it seemed, and then connectivity issues. It was like half of this room in this hotel, maybe there was like a few hundred, there was a ton of kids, I don't know, a few hundred, 500, I don't know how many, but there was a ton of people. And half of the people couldn't connect, I was one of them. And it was primarily people on Apple devices. So I don't know what that means going forward, if Apple devices, you need to be careful, but all the PCs were able to connect, it was all the Apples that had issues. They kept trying to troubleshoot. They were on the phone with the college board. They had a Wi-Fi guy up there. They were slowly getting people to connect. Then around 9 a.m., so now it's been an hour. We're all waiting. People are getting tired. Around 9 a.m., they start moving people out. So they end up clearing out of this conference room like 60% of the people. As people are leaving, right, I think there's more availability on the hubs or whatnot for, for internet connection. Eventually, I was finally able to connect, finally able to log on. And... Then we were able to take the test around 10 a.m. So that was a two hour delay. For me, obviously I'm taking it more for the experience. The score doesn't matter for me like it does for high school kids. For the high school kids, I felt terrible. I think there were even some kids that weren't able to connect and had to leave. And so they gave the option of saying, hey, if this is just too much for you and you wanna reschedule, you can do that as well. I, I don't know how many people took them up on that offer, but it was pretty, I felt really bad because I guarantee you that can impact the scores of kids. You go hungry for longer, you have let, you know, your your adrenaline's high because you're waiting and then it dips and then you get tired and you're not as effective. And I can say, I'll tell you one thing, I'm shocked at my verbal score because if you see here, right, I don't teach verbal, I don't prep for it, I just kind of go in and do it. But I got a 720 back in June. For this one, I, this is after a two hour wait, I had to get in the verbal and I was just like spent, you know? So I'm, I'm actually shocked it was it was that high because I, I barely even checked my stuff actually when I did the first verbal section, I had I had like 15 or 20 minutes or something, um, and I got up and I didn't check the rest of it. I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm just too tired, I don't care. Whatever, it is It is what it is. I went to the bathroom, walked around, stuff like that. So I, be, I did change my behavior because I was exhausted, but I guess somehow it worked out to be better than the June SAT. But anyways, that was the crazy thing. So 
I'd love to know your guys' story as well. Did you guys have something like this happen? I've never seen a delay this bad. It's usually been maybe 15, 20 minutes we're late or something like that, but this was a two hour delay. It screwed up my entire day as well. I had to move sessions around. I'm sure for the kids it was, it was a, a big problem as well, but it worked out. That's the story. This is what happened. I just hope those snafus, those little incidents don't happen again. But what you can learn from that is prepare for the worst, prepare for all that. Maybe bring a little bit of extra snacks with you try not to be late to the test center ever because i guarantee you the people that were late or their adrenaline was already high when they got in then they then you have to sit there and wait for two hours i guarantee you it was even worse for them so if you come in nice and early you're going to be calm there's going to be no spikes in adrenaline no rise and fall crash and burn type of situation now and that's all I got to say about that. But there you guys have it. There's my 10th perfect SAT math score. There's a big score reveal. And there's my little story of what happened on August 23rd. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you guys so much for joining. By the way, we got new content coming out very soon. I got a banger of an SAT video that I'm trying to get, a, get out before the September 13th administration. Thank you guys so much for joining. And we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.